Sabrina 2000's comic, Issue 65. After we see a woman be upset about a yellow leaf near the mana tree, and I immediately realized that witches are more than omnipotent enough to cast a spell so that nothing bad would ever happen to a tree, making any plot where that would happen forced and stupid. Sabrina's told by a professor that the other realm has rare creatures crucial to their magic structure. Huh? How? And this is why hunting is outlawed in the other realm. And couldn't they just zap up more magical creatures? I mean, they don't want to lose track of how many there are and find out that one of them went extinct, but it would only take a second to zap up some more of them once it got to that point. So at that point, why bother outlawing hunting? Hell, why wouldn't they make a law that if you're hunting, you have to zap up a replacement for what you hunted? Sabrina's selfish by being mad that Shinji and Landry are together, lampshading that the ship between them came out of nowhere. Salem tells Sabrina that she should be grateful for having to go to magic school, which is very dumb and out of touch with what we want. Well, Sabrina only hates it because she wants to just be with Harvey. If she really loved him, why does she even care that Shinji is dating someone else? It just makes me feel sorry for Harvey. I don't know why Salem would have told her that anyways. She wants to see Harvey again, and Salem gets uncharacteristically sad that she doesn't want to hang out with him. Then Sabrina and Dance suddenly jump on Sabrina's bed when she was sleeping in on Saturday. They act like children and celebrate the fact that the writing went the predictable route and Hilda made onto the council just because she's a main character. Granted, Sabrina did something to impress them, but that's what Sabrina did. It shouldn't give her an advantage over the other contestants. That wouldn't be fair. And as somebody read the whole comic, I really wish she didn't make it onto the council. Sabrina congratulates them, but wants to go on a date with Harvey instead. But she ends up being forced to go to her inauguration anyways because they don't respect her independence. Meanwhile, the stereotypical witch versions of them still let her do stuff and didn't punish her even if they did complain. After a bunch of boring dialogue, out of nowhere, Hilda's told that she's going to have a new home ready by the end of the week and is going to have to pack up her mortal belongings. This doesn't make any sense because obviously witches can teleport and fly, so there's no reason she should have to move. She can get here just as easily without having moved yet. So this is the definition of forced drama. I have a question. Why will Sabrina be forced to stop going to mortal school when just Hilda leaves, when there's absolutely no reason Hilda can't move out while Zelda stays with Sabrina? She doesn't need both of the ants to live with her. There are single parent families. This writing is extremely forced. This is absolutely pathetic, pitiful nonsense. Why was she written to only date Harvey at the last minute? It just takes the Harvey and Sabrina ship and does nothing but abuse it to make the audience suffer from drama. At least the Savities comic didn't torture us with it. Salem says she could always visit Harvey on the weekends. Sabrina says she can't tell Harvey where she's going to move to. She overthinks things by asking how she could tell him that she can only appear on weekends to see him. This is so dumb. That wouldn't be a problem. Why couldn't Hilda have just brainwashed so that she wouldn't be forced to move to another house? Sure, we were told that mind control spells are illegal, but how is anyone supposed to know that the person didn't just change their mind on their own? If it's a policy, why can't the council change that policy? If they're brainwashed into it, how is anyone supposed to know that it wasn't their decision to change their mind about it? Because it's not like literally everything is seen by spy witches, or Shinji would have lost his powers for exposing them to mortals in Sabrina's high school. Then she explains that he has basketball practice to waste time with on the weekends. This writing is really pathetically bad. You can't get me to take it seriously in respect to its writer when the drama is blatantly forced. Why does the writer forget that Hilda's a witch? She's just writing her to have to move 
because she got a new job. Because that's a common cliche that happens to mortals in real life. Why does the writer have to be so focused on writing what other people would write? Sabrina should just tell Hilda to move out on her own. Better yet, she should brainwash her into moving out on her own. Because apparently the council doesn't find out about everything that happens. Or else we would have heard about Chinji being punished for exposing magic. And people would have assumed that Hilda changed her mind on her own. How dare Hilda expect Sabrina to help her out with an assignment? Why would Sabrina ever make sure that Hilda doesn't mess up the assignment? If she messes up, she won't have to leave the mortal realm. Why am I expected to care about anything Hilda says anymore? She's extremely selfish. She betrayed her niece. Why did Sabrina think that tree teachers are made up? Them being rare doesn't explain it. We don't think rare animals are made up. And she's a witch! It turns out that a tree teach was kidnapped by a mortal. Okay, so warp it to you. Sabrina didn't have to tell Hilda that the boot print had to be from a mortal. They would have followed them anyways. Sabrina says that maybe another animal was kidnapped, and says that witches hunt in the mortal realm, so she assumes that a witch befriended a mortal and this happened. Can they stop talking already? I'm bored to death. I'd rather see stuff happen, but this comic's pacing is so slow. Sabrina sees a videotape when magic discs are better. She realizes that the indentation she saw at the scene was from a tripod, not a bird. Hilda's a selfish one for forcing Sabrina to move instead of moving out herself. It's stupid that I'm supposed to believe the magic supply could ever be in danger anyways. The whole series established that witches can summon anything. So obviously, they would just summon a brand new mana tree. A whole bunch of witches could combine their powers to create a new mana tree if there was any danger to the magic supply whatsoever. Because surprisingly, we've never been told that witches can't create magical stuff because it would be creating new magic. Witches can create lightning, and that's creating energy out of nothing. Sabrina stupidly tells Hilda about the videotape. I get that Hilda will live a lot longer than Harvey, so she should be loyal to her, but I think Harvey can be trusted more! Because there's really no reason for Hilda to force her to move with her, instead of visiting her every day with teleportation if she's gonna be so lonely without her. It's just an obvious conflict ball that nobody thinks of this! Hilda intimidates the guy, overwhelming me with boring dialogue some more. The mortal was going to give the tape to some executives. And he's just a former friend of his because he wants to steal from the other realm. Hilda doesn't even let Sabrina complain about not being allowed to let her boyfriend into the other realm, and just tells her to let her handle this. She really needs to let her complain instead of forcing her to bottle things up. Somehow the council doesn't know what a videotape is. And Hilda says she'll see it on her VCR at home. If the council keeps finding out about stuff they shouldn't because they've got spies or they're spying themselves, you'd think they would know what a videotape is from all the spying they do on witches, but this writer never thinks her writing through. The VCR shows a hunter show where the guy captures an animal and puts it in a box. This is why I don't want to talk about the later dark and edgy Sabrina comics. Even this comic has every single dramatic plot point be completely forced. Even this comic does nothing but forget what witches are capable of to force the storyline to happen. The writing can't be believable anymore. At that point I lose all respect for what I'm being forced through. And it isn't so bad when bad stuff happens in episodic stories like the earlier ones. If something bothers me too much, I can always say that maybe Sabrina reversed time so that it never happened. This just keeps going with it and the bad things actually matter. Since they saw what this guy looks like, why can't Hilda just use magic to warp him to her? Again, I'm being treated like a complete idiot who couldn't see through a web of lies. This plot is held together with glue and duct tape. Hilda's been a witch for centuries, there's no reason she to forget one of her major abilities after she's used magic thousands of times. The mortals getting networks interested in his new reality show that would expose magic. And the spy witches didn't do anything about this, because I guess they don't watch mortals, just witches. 
You know, they could have hired people to watch the mortals, too. Hilda decides to be an idiot and simply call him, lying that she's president of an animal channel, and she asks him to sign a contract with her tonight. I don't know why mind controls would be illegal in this situation. She asks him to bring the creature with them to make sure he's real. But this just causes them to bring over extra protection because he wonders if they're trying to set him up so that they can steal the beast in his glory. What's stopping Hilda from simply teleporting the kidnapped monster to her? She saw what it looked like. Show me a line where they say that the monster can't be warped to people. It's a plot hole. It's like how they don't have a character say that Mephilus can't merge with Iblis in the future. And I thought the animated series comic was bad. At least its art was good. So Sabrina's an idiot by somehow being surprised that Hilda could conjure up an office room. There's literally no end to how stupid the characters are going to be portrayed as. The bad guy shows up and Hilda's credibility is permanently destroyed, as if it wasn't already, because she doesn't think to point and freeze him in time. Or do a hundred other different things. She has no reason to let him talk at all, let alone ask him where he got the creature. She should be freezing him in a block of ice. She could turn him into a frog. What's taking them so long to use magic on him? Seriously! Hilda uses magic to make it dark and waste time talking to him some more. She's being just as stupid as a villain that does a bragging monologue. So somehow, he gets a chance to grab Zelda under his arm, and this is so stupid. He's surrounded by witches. Hilda and Zelda and Sabrina can just point and instantly undo this problem in a million different ways. I wouldn't be surprised if this writer didn't have an English degree. Sabrina gets told no for no reason while wasting her time talking. She throws blue light at him. What's with the blue light? Again, how am I supposed to know what that does? What that is? Why didn't she freeze him in time or turn him into a frog? He doesn't look electrocuted. He's not lying on the ground. The creature transforms into its guardian form. And Hilda creates a plot hole by saying that's the wrong moon phase for that. I don't know why the phase of the moon would matter. If it's able to transform into this form, it'd stay that way. It would have done this a long time ago. And it's not like the moon is the source of all magic. And all the moon phase is, is the way that the moon looks. The moon itself isn't any different. The creature is miraculously not tearing him apart. Instead, it just sits on his chest. And then he gets handcuffed and told that he'll wake up with no memory of this. So if they can do that, why didn't they do that the instant they saw him with the creature in the box? And he wastes time insisting that he'll remember this anyways because he's an idiot. Then Hilda tells Sabrina that they don't have to move after all. The council realized she can do her job just as well from right here in the mortal realm. And it's all because of that videotape they couldn't understand. Deus Ex Machina Why didn't the Council know this before? Wouldn't they have already known that the Mortal Realm is full of outdated technology they can't understand? Wouldn't they have already known that witches can teleport? And so it shouldn't matter where she lives? As someone who read the entire comic, I really wish this didn't happen because it would have been better for Sabrina if she did have to move. And at least Sabrina wouldn't have had to go through certain drama later on if she had to move away from Harvey. I assumed that they only made her move because it was tradition to force that policy. I feel lied to and cheated, because if there was ever a possibility that she didn't have to move, the council should have told her that in the first place. Why didn't they tell her that as an incentive for her to do well? This plot blatantly didn't have to have the threat of her having to move. All it did was waste my time and piss me off and ruin Hilda's likability because she doesn't care about her niece. It was so nice to see them hug. But Hilda worries me even more by saying, Eh, right. About Sabrina wanting to be with Harvey all the time. I could understand if she said that because she knows that most teenage relationships fail, but she doesn't explain that. So I'm suspicious of her. In retrospect, it's because Harvey's immortal. Then we see that the other networks doubted his tapes of the other realm, thinking of them as computer-generated hoaxes, realistically. You'd think they would still think that this would make an awesome show, and wouldn't care how he made it. Reality shows are never fully reality anyways, they're usually staged, so why would this be a deal breaker for them? 
Couldn't she just stand there in the forest and reverse time until she had seen him try to kidnap that creature again? We see a videotape with Atticus's name on it. I just have a hard time believing anybody's called that. And his only personality has been jerk, so he didn't deserve for me to call him by his name anyways. And his words insist that he'll remember this. It ultimately didn't matter that Hilda was told she'd have to move, because it did nothing but upset us for no reason. Ultimately, this was just a story where Sabrina helps Hilda try to track down someone who kidnapped a magical creature. The entire plot only happens because the writer forgets that all these characters are witches. Obviously, Hilda would have just warped the magical creature to her, and him, so he would have gotten arrested instantly. It required effort from the writer to think up how Hilda would lie to him, but I can't really appreciate that, because there's no reason she would have done that. It just padded out the story.